If you were at Maker Faire this year, you may have seen me rolling around with my bass guitar made out of a Commodore 64 on roller skates. So I started with some junk Commodore 64 that didn't work in a junk guitar that cost me about $50. So the first thing I did is I took it to the bandsaw and just sawed through the wires and all and removed the top and bottom of the body and left the wood through the center so that all the mounting hardware and the neck would stay nice and stable. I relieved the Commodore 64 case so that I could put all the mounting hardware in there, added strap locks and a quarter inch jack. And my final modification was I had to shorten the Commodore 64 badge so that it would um, clear all the hardware. I decided to go with piezo pickups, which I made myself out of little piezo buzzer discs. I did that knowing that I was going to Maker fair and there would be a lot of Tesla coils. Um, I wrapped them in polyamide tape and slipped them under the strings and then snuck the wires down the back side. I then amplified the, the signal from each pickup. There's four copies of this. Low pass filtered it and then compared it and sent it to the FPGA. The FPGA scans the Commodore keyboard and does all the transactions to the original Commodore 64 sound chip. This is the amplifier board and the comparator board all together in one. And then that feeds the FPGA, the Sipapelio one with the little Xilinx Spartan. And then um, this is the SID board. It has some linear power supplies so that the audio is nice and clean. And um, some emitter followers for the audio. And this is the basic structure of the FPGA, keyboard scanning that sets some bits, some edge detectors, and some lookup tables for the notes and the frequency counter to try to track the strings, which doesn't work so well. And it's powered by 18 AA batteries and lasted about eight hours at Maker Faire. Okay, I'm gonna attempt to give you a demo of my bass guitar. I'm just learning, so it may not be so great. So please forgive me. All right, it functions as a keytar through the top number row here. You can change the wave shape to various things like sawtooth or square wave with the function keys. Now the strings also go through the sound chip. This is square wave. This sounds the best considering the tracking doesn't work so great. All right, you can also change the wave shape of the strings. Well, I hope you enjoyed my little hack. Um, please subscribe and leave comments.